Right, yo. So, I have a PS5. Right, so, I bought this off IT Parto for £200. So, he tried to fix it himself and he said he's torn some of the traces. Uh, so, yeah. It's not been put back together because he did say to me, do you want me to leave the screws out? And I said, yeah. To be honest, I don't even know where the screws have gone. But I've got loads of screws, so that's not a major issue. I'll just replace the screws. This is already pretty much taken apart. And I don't think there's a, don't think there's a HDMI port. Oh, we've got a Delta fan. Very nice. I will sell that. Oh, yeah, there is a HDMI port on it. Yeah, I said not to bother putting it back together because, honestly, it saved me putting 62 screws back in. But the plan for this one, if I can get this working, is to give it to my son. Um, we've got two PlayStation 5s. You know, the two older kids have got one each, but my youngest son hasn't got one. So the plan is going to be to give him this. Today's video is brought to you by PCBWay. PCBWay should be your only choice for all your custom printed circuit board, CNC and 3D printing needs. With over 8 years experience, PCBWay can provide you with rapid PCB prototyping to get your project off the ground. To get 10% off CNC and 3D printing, as well as fantastic rates on PCB prototyping, head to the link in the video description. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to the repair. Okay, let's just take a quick look and... Alright, the HDMI port is going to need to come off to be honest and also we've got a little bit of thermal paste splatter that's probably just from transport but I'll sort out the thermal paste afterwards let's sort out the HDMI port first and foremost to be honest not the worst I've seen I've seen some pretty shitty jobs that's not, not nowhere near the worst All right, so I'm gonna take the port off and I'm just gonna undo all of the work that's been done. Come on. Get off of my property. Alright, this is a little bit of a mess, to be honest. It's going to need a little bit of a fixer up at. It's a little bit funny. He's broke it inside. Just how much trace damage. Are we gonna find? Oh, I'm missing a cap there. Well, that cap is actually there, but meh, I'll put a new one on. So, yeah, I'm just basically gonna blanket wipe this. Five-year-old nephew plays GTA 5. Yeah, Cody's got an obsession with uh, fire trucks. He likes to blow them up. Like, he loves fire engines and stuff, but he likes to blow them up in GTA. He sits there literally pissing himself laughing at it. Like, he doesn't understand what he's doing. He's just He just likes to do it. And he sits there pissing himself laughing. I find it quite funny. I don't like the fact that he likes GTA, but he keeps him happy. When he's sitting there playing with fire trucks and stuff. Alright. Come on. Okay, this is definitely going to need a little bit of TLC. Okay, this could be a tricky one. I think, to be honest, I think this is going to need... A fair amount of work. Judging by that, it's going to need a fair amount of um, of repair work for this. So we've got pin 19. Let's just take a look at the donor board. I'm sure I know where that goes on the on the board, but let's just take a look anyway. Yeah, okay, it goes down. So pin 19 goes down to there. So pin 19 comes down here, but that right now appears to be shorted to ground. Yeah, that is shorted to ground, okay. That's going to need 
taken care of. Uh, pin 18 is present. That's not short. Pin 17 is ground. That needs dealing with. Okay, what is this? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. All of this needs protecting. Thirteen. Thirteen goes down to here. That's not grounded. Okay. Fourteen's a no connect. Fifteen's gonna be going to that via there. Sixteen to that via there. And then we got seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Right, okay. I need to I need to get rid of that short that's on pin nineteen before I do anything and then most of this is going to need protecting with conformal coating because it's gone down to another layer. Right, okay, so is there a jumper wire there? Hmm. Or is that not pin 19 and pin 19's via... ...is there? I think... I think it's just the fact that it's like that I'm touching another layer and that's why it's coming up as a ground point. Or oh, it's coming up short. I don't think it's actually going to be shorted. So if we look at another HDMI port, pin 19 via is down in that corner. So that's going to be that little hole you see there. Yeah, someone ban Ralphie. Please. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Travis. Don't be fucking racist on my stream. You Cheers, Travis. Thank you, mate. Ralphie, your mother is a ho I hate racism. I really do. Like, what is the need for it? That's what I, do I don't understand it. Like, what is the need for racism? There's absolutely no need for it. Right, so I'm just... Basically, what I'm doing here is just... Protecting and rebuilding these layers. So I'm putting the conformal coating back to prevent it from shorting out against another layer. Because a board's not just made up of a top and a bottom layer, or, well, 90% of boards are not. So basically, the way they're constructed is you'll have your top layer where all of your components go, and you'll have the traces, but then those traces will go through to other layers. Uh, so underneath this top layer, you've got a what looks to be just one big ground pad, one big ground layer. So, if I was to run jumper wires here, then we're just going to be shorting everything out to ground. And that's why I didn't turn this on before I actually um, opened it up. Uh, I think that should do it in terms of protecting the area. I certainly hope so. Don't know who Rick Wings of Redemption is, mate. And if he's racist, I don't want to know. I ain't got no time for racism. Absolutely no time at all. You need some food in your tummy. Yep, I do indeed. Try does a nail polish. What do you mean, try nail polish as UV mask? Eh. I've heard of people doing it. First and foremost, I'm just going to put a bit of flux there so as I can use it for tinning my jumper wire. Just like that. And then, well, I'm going to try and thread this through the via, if I can. If I can't, I do have another trick that I can use. Because that's dug down into another layer, and if I try and hit that with the soldering iron too hard to try and get a contact, it's just going to expose more of the uh, inner layer. I don't want that. No, that's a bit too thick. Okay, so here's what I'll do then. 
we do it another way. We add a little bit of flux. So let's drag a bit of flux down there. Teeny tiny bit of flux. Then I'm going to grab a 0.3 millimeter solder ball. That should do it. Fire shots. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that, mate. Just super chatted $1.99. Keep up the good work, bud. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Right. I'm put my hot air at 1%. Oh, yeah. Hot air at 1%. And there we go. Just flow that solar ball down onto the wire. And then, if I'm very careful, yeah, if I'm very careful now, then what I can do is take my jumper wire that I've just tinned. With the hot air still at 1%. Hang on, I might need to just grab this with my tweezers. Hang on. Un moment, senor. Just grab this jumper wire with tweezers. I'm going to hold that there. Well, I'm going to reflow this solder ball. And just flow the wire onto it. And now, I should, the key word here is should, whether it's actually worked or not, I don't know, but I'll find out in a minute. But I should have a contact with that pad now. And I should be good to go. The question now is, do I have a diode reading on this here? I do indeed. And it's a good diode reading of 0.55. So realistically now, or theoretically now, that should be connected. Racing Demon. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate that, mate. That one should be done. Look, this is not going to look pretty, by the way. Just a little warning for you all. This is not going to look pretty when it's done. Like, no matter what I do, I am not going to get this to look pretty. But I can do my best and try. That's all I can do is try and get it to look as good as I can. But this is going to stay here anyway. I'm not going to be selling this one. I never intended on selling this one, no matter what. But realistically, we should, we should have now a jumper wire to pin 19 that I can actually use. Um, and also be able to use hot air on it as well. But what I'm going to do is just expose the jumper wire. Because now I need to get rid of the, um, the coating off it. There you go, look. I don't want to put too much heat on that because I don't want to pull that wire out. That coating, yes, it will stop it falling out, but put too much pressure on and it's GG for that wire. And then I've got to scrape it all back and get rid of it all and do it all again. Right, do I get a diode reading on the actual wire? I do indeed. 0.55. Perfect. Yeah, that's making a contact with the wire, and it's given me a good reading. Perfection. Love it. Happy days.
we are done. Bask in my glory. <clears throat> Bask in my glory. There we go. Well, I'm not going to put this back together tonight, by the way. I will put it back together, but just I'll do it tomorrow morning. I've got to find out the screws for it and stuff. This has taken a little bit longer than I thought it would. Yeah, I'll be testing it, yeah. I'll be testing it. Um, so I'm going to test it, but I'll just partially reassemble it enough for tonight. It needs a good clean, like the board, the entire board needs a good clean. Um, so I'll probably reapply liquid metal tomorrow. Um, so I'll put some fresh liquid metal down tomorrow and also clean the board fully. Uh, there's some flux and stuff around here, so it needs a good clean. Is it going to work or is it going to go bang? That be the question. Beep, yes, it turns on. Well, number one, that's just booted up. But number two, I need to turn my TV on because I need to test this in 4K. I need to make sure this works in 4K. Plugs in, goes bang, yep. <laughs> you got it. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Screen and video, information, 4K baby. Let's get it, let's go. That's working. You know you know why this broke? You know why this got broken? That's why this doesn't work. Because they play FIFA 23. And if you play FIFA 23, then you break your consoles. It's just, it's just the law.